Hi guys, welcome back to Flute Class. It's me, Mrs. Miranda. I hope you guys had a good long weekend. I want to show you, I have a flute here today and I'm gonna show you all the parts of the flute. We're gonna focus on learning all of the different parts of the flute because next week is when we're gonna start checking out the flutes from the school. So I wanna make sure that whether you played before or you never played before, that you know all the different parts of the flute and the names of the different parts. So that's what we're going to focus on for this week. So here is the top piece of the flute that will go onto your mouth when you play it. And you could see on this little diagram here, this whole big piece is called the head joint. This is the lip plate. And there's a little hole called the embouchure hole that I'm going to blow into. Then there's a second piece of the flute, a really large, long piece. And that whole big piece is called the body. The body has a few different parts, though. There's this little part here called the tenon, or sometimes they call it the barrel. And then on the body, there are keys that you push with your fingers. And there are these little parts here that they call the rod system. That piece will go in with this piece eventually. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because then I'm going to show you the third piece, which is called the foot. And it goes at the bottom of your flute. So for this week's Google Classroom lesson, what I'm going to have you guys do is check out this diagram of all of the parts of your flute. So you could see it here. There will be the diagram also posted on your Google Classroom assignment for you to look at. If you have a printer and you would like to print it out, you can, but you don't have to. You could also just get your own paper and pencil or marker or whatever you want, draw your own flute and label all the parts. You do not have to be an artist to do this. Uh, if your flute does not look perfect, that's okay. The purpose of drawing it and labeling it is that locks it into your brain, what the flute looks like and what parts have what names. After you feel like you have a good handle on all the names of the different parts of the flute, then you're going to go into this fun quizzes quiz on the flute instrument parts. It's just five questions and it's, it has a little timer and some little like music in the background and little virtual prizes. It's pretty fun. So you can play that one and see how you do. Of course, sometimes if you go too fast, you might miss one or maybe you forget a part. And I think uh, I missed one actually when I tried the test quiz for myself <laughs> just because I clicked too fast so at the end it let me redo the one that I missed because the main point is to learn the parts right it says on here you can challenge your friends I haven't tried that out myself yet but if any of you want to try out that challenge friends feature you can and let me know how it goes of course don't forget also that if you have a straw or a pencil or a ruler, you could still please be practicing your hand position on your flute and your finger exercises from last week. So besides the names of all the parts of the flute, we want to still be working on this. So remember, we've got left hand on the top, right hand on the bottom, thumbs are on the back, fingers are on the front, and then we move it over to the right side of our body, which is the same side that I believe all of you said you're right-handed, you write with your right hand. So that's the side that you want to be holding the flute out on. So then we have thumb, we have left hand on top, left one, left two, left three, left pinky, right one, right two, right three, right pinky. The more you practice those, the more awesome you're gonna get when you have your real flutes in hand. And if you want, you can also practice with a bottle blowing some air over that bottle. If you have a thinner bottle, it will make a sound more easily. Thicker bottle will take a little more effort. But the point is that you're practicing your breathing as you will be on a flute, which is some of the air is going in, some of the air is going out, and you're practicing different positions with your lips and your air to see if you can get little different sounds with your bottle, okay? So those are some exercises for you to do this week. Don't forget to study your flute parts, to do the quizzes quiz, and to practice your hand and finger exercises. I will see you in your Flute Live class. Don't forget, the Flute Live class is now on Google Meet, and that Google Meet link will always be found at the top of your Flute class Google Classroom. I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Bye.